It's another day on the tools, trying to loosen the big old crankshaft pulley bolt on my T4. And uh, I've assembled some tools here that I will use to loosen the um, crankshaft pulley bolt. I've managed to borrow a VW tool and this is the locking tool, the official VW one that locks the crankshaft pulley. It has a small little recess in it over there which fits into the crankshaft pulley, locks it in place so that you can use a 27mm socket in there to loosen the crankshaft pulley bolt which is done up very 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 tightly so much so that my 400 newton meter impact wrench will not budge at the moment alternatively what you can buy because those VW tools are very expensive you can buy for about 25 pounds a timing tool kit this is one that I got off Amazon now it has a very similar locking tool but you can see you can see that it is a great deal smaller the official VW one actually locks in place on the bottom of the engine with this bolt and this little arm which I will have a look at in a moment this tool slides into the crankshaft pulley that little notch there fits onto a notch inside the crankshaft pulley to be able to lock it in place now the obvious difference between this and that is that this one requires a three-quarter inch breaker bar socket to go in there to hold it in place I managed to borrow that as well because I only have the sizes up to half inch so I do have a half inch to three quarter inch socket adapter which fits in there but the more moving parts that you have in an assembly like this the more chance there is that something is going to break and if you just look at how beefy this three quarter inch breaker bar is compared to a half inch bar it is a huge difference let me show you so this is my half inch bar long four foot long breaker bar which is very useful you can see the difference in beefiness between a half inch breaker bar and this three quarter inch breaker bar so I want to be using this big bad boy as much as I can because the impact wrench will only tighten it up so much and then you have to torque it and then do an extra 90 to 180 degrees with something like this and I suspect I'm going to need to put a pipe on the end of that to get that accomplished. A kit like this that you can buy for the 2.5 TDI engines off Amazon comes with that locking tool it also comes with the locking tool for the camshaft on the fuel pump end this fits into a notch when the camshaft is at um, a certain position there's a notch that's there's a slit in the camshaft that this fits into to lock it in place when you do the pump timing and then there's these other little feeler gauges another little locking tool over here I have yet to discover what that's for and then some pins if you can't get your hands on one of these you'll have to buy one of those and you will have to get yourself a big old three-quarter inch breaker bar like this so you can make that work that goes in there and hopefully you can get it off So this is the notch I was talking about that's on the crankshaft pulley or the damper pulley. That notch corresponds to that notch over there 
on this tool and on the other tool basically what I have to do is fit this tool in that there to lock it in place that is the locking tool in place now you can see just in there that it's the notches have lined up when this is in place you can see my little pink mark there that this is effectively a top dead center which is interesting the edge of kind of the flange on the back of this tool moves up and then rests against the um, the flange or the extension that's actually on the block everything is in position everything is locked down top dead center is in place fuel pump is lined up let's try and get that big bolt out it takes a 27 mil socket let's uh, hope this works <laughs> it is coming out and it is loose There we go. Happy days.